Welcome campers. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the Trailhead Off-Road Cowl Intake Kit on our Jeep Cherokee XJ. Stay tuned. So before we get started with the install, let's open up the box and see what we got with it. So I know we got the bracket that goes on the firewall. And along with that, here is the tube that goes from the filter to your throttle body, along with the 90 degree elbow with their logo on it the elbow that goes from the tube onto the throttle body itself then I know this is the filter that goes in the cowl itself and it has their logo on it which is awesome and then this is a pre-filter bag that goes over the filter to uh, help keep stuff out also and then it came with the bag with their instructions well it tells you where to go for the instructions their email and the screws needed for the bracket along with a few stickers a trailhead off-road sticker and then a giant trailhead off-road cowl induction that uh, you could put on your your hood or as a windshield banner if you want so now that we have the box open and know that everything is here, let's uh, let's pop the hood on the Jeep and get started with uh, moving things out of the way so we could cut a hole in the cowl. So before even getting started on cutting the hole for the cowl intake, the first thing we can do is remove the stock air box. So we'll do that right now. You will not be needing the stock air box anymore. So we will pull it off. There's the top part and then there's the top part. We will be, wow, that was filthy. We will get to removing the stock air box bottom and then from there it is a uh, go time on moving the wire harness out of the way. Uh, drawing out the spot where we will cut it and then we will cut the hole for the, uh, the new air filter that will go in through the cowl. So between this kit and a snorkel are the only true cold air intakes in my opinion. Because when you get uh, those other in cold air intakes, suppose you know supposed cold air intakes that come from here to this area, it has the the little wall that helps uh, you know block the heat from the exhaust and the intake and the motor. But the Cherokees are like ovens, you know they they have not. They don't have a lot of airflow other than coming through the front or if you do hood louvers. So it's still in a way a hot air intake because it's still pulling hot air in from the circulating hot air that's underneath the hood. So with this cowl intake, it shields it completely from the engine bay and pulls cold air in from the cowl itself. And then with the snorkel, it's obviously you cut the hole in your fender, connect it to your air box, and then you have the snorkel outside of the vehicle. So honestly, we should see, I mean, I don't know if it's even noticeable, but it, there will be performance gains. And uh, it does raise the intake higher. So if you ever do take on water or anything, you're less likely to suck water in through your throttle body and destroying your vehicle. 
Perfect. Look at all that room for uh, extra things. I know my plan with this area is I actually want to relocate my auxiliary battery from the interior of the Jeep into somewhere in this area. I'll uh, get a battery box, either a stock battery box like the one I have and weld it in place somewhere. Or I think I could be completely wrong. Um, comment down below if you do know or you know if you want to correct me if a right hand drive XJ battery box is on the driver's side of the vehicle if it is then I'll just get a right hand drive battery box find a spot to bolt it or weld it in where wherever and then from there uh, relocate the battery all my wiring and it should free up a lot of room in the back of the Jeep for extra camping gear and everything and I will be doing a video on that relocation and rewiring so uh, just stay tuned to the channel if you haven't uh, please like the video and subscribe uh, we really appreciate it and uh, yeah we're gonna keep going now it is time to push down the wire harness and mark out where we're gonna cut it on the cow all right now that we have the stock air box completely removed it is time to push down the wire harness, get it out of the way because the cowl intake will be going in this area. So I know most Jeeps, their wire harness is either right there on top of that crease on the firewall or it's below it already. So your life should be easier. But uh, I decided to make things harder and I do have a wiring for my lights and my secondary battery zip tied to my wire harness. So I'm going to cut all those zip ties, get everything out of the way, and then push this harness down. And it just needs to be down below this or below where the, the bracket will go. And then the rest of it will be just fine. So let's get to it right now. Perfect, so I did get enough cut just to get it out of the way. And I do have the bracket. I think that's for uh, your vacuum lines right there and everything. And I think it's possibly for your EVAP canister, not entirely sure. But you do have to unbolt that bracket. And there is two holes on the uh, piece of metal that goes over the hole that you cut that it lines up perfect to remount your uh, your vacuum setup so you shouldn't have to make any new holes or anything for this side you will have to drill and put in the uh, two screws over here on the side right there but uh yeah now that is out of the way enough I will unbolt the bracket and then it is time to mock it up and get to cutting so I was wrong on the original holes. They do not line up, but if you could see right there, they are the same width, so you can relocate the vacuum lines or the vacuum bracket right there. And this is how it looks on the firewall. So what I'm planning on doing is just kind of holding it in place, getting like a, a mental note of where it goes, and then I will mark it with a Sharpie and kind of just make a square or rectangle of how the how big the opening I need and then I will uh, take the grinder and you know slowly cut on it what I seen too is that uh, the bracket is you know or the cover is a lot larger so if you do cut it a little big the outer edges should easily be able to cover the hole if you do mess that up I'm just getting an idea right now. All right, now that I have the, the box marked out, let's just re put that on there. 
and that should work cool the bolt holes lined up everything looks fine looks right around four and a half inches so uh yeah let's get to um i'm gonna cover all of this with something so that the grinding wheel you know won't hit my wire harness and uh you know make a one hour install into an eight hour install so i will uh get that covered and then i will get to cutting on this yeah so once you get everything uh protected just take your uh cheapest harbor freight grinder with the most expensive harbor freight cutting wheel and uh get to cutting so let's do this guys what we have there there is the hole we have I think what I will have to do I'll mock it up but I might have to trim this a little so yeah I might have to just trim this make it round round it off to fit the filter in there but uh yeah that that actually came out perfect with the cutting wheel so let's get to it let's check it out and if I have to do any more cutting we will do that Perfect, we cut away a ton of it now. And look at that. That fits in there great. Press it down a little bit. Yeah, that completely fits in there. I will grab the bracket and just put it there and see if uh, hopefully the bracket covers the entire hole. That is perfect. That's right on the edge of uh, covering the holes and having it exposed. So I think we are uh, exactly where we're supposed to be, you guys. So I will, uh, I'm gonna clean this up, you know, with either a wire wheel or with a, uh, I don't know, with something. Might even stick the shot back in there. There is a little bit of dirt in there. So I will uh, get this fully cleaned up make it look better and uh we will get to installing the rest of the kit and call it a day all right so it's time for install what i did beforehand is i pre-installed the filter the pre-filter and the cover the face cover on there and then i'm just gonna get in there just push the filter in there as far as you can then you just get the cover bracket on there and then it is lined up with the throttle body for the elbow and then it is time to put on the self tappers to hold that bracket in place and then from there you uh you cut your breather tube for your valve cover put it on there and you are good to go all right so once you get that elbow wrestled on there to the throttle body just uh put the clamps for the elbow to the tube and the elbow to the throttle body in a good spot to tighten it with a socket that doesn't interfere with wires or uh, cables or your sensors or anything so I figured this is the best spot for that. So now that all the screws are in the bracket on the firewall, the clamp is on the tube to the elbow and then the elbow to the throttle body. It is time to install or to reroute your uh, breather hose. It's kind of what my plan was is it's already pretty well lined up. So I was just going to cut, figure out how long this is, this tube, stuff it on there, and then see how much of this I have to cut. And then from there, once it is uh, cut, just 
put it all together, push it on there all the way, and we should be done. Look at that. It is cut on there. Everything is tight and installed. It is good to go. That's uh, that's about the gist of it. I will start it up um, just to see if there is any difference whatsoever in sounds in the cab since you know your intake is right underneath your windshield in a sense. You might hear a little bit of a sound possibly. <laughs> So I am all done with the cowl intake on my Cherokee. Um, I gotta say, when I did start it, you do hear a sucking sound, but it's only you know for the startup, and then once it idles down, you don't hear it anymore. And I think the only other time you would hear it is if like you're pulling on hills, like going uphill, just giving it throttle, or just anything like that. But uh, honestly. I like it. It frees up all this extra room so I can relocate my second battery to this area. And uh, it is a true cold air intake other than a snorkel. So it's a win-win for me. And honestly, I won't really mind the the sound of, uh, you know, the, the sucking sound from for the throttle body um, while on hills or starting it up. I have no issues with that. I mean, it's a Jeep, they're loud and clunky anyways, so whatever. But uh, I'd say the only thing left is I just have to get all my wires put back in place, zip tied down so they don't move or anything, and uh, I should be good to go. Um, if you found this installation video helpful and you are interested in buying one of these, I will put a link in the description below. Uh, he is a local guy to me. He's actually lives about 10 minutes away which i thought was extremely awesome and um from my knowledge everything is made in america so you're helping out an american company helping a guy pay his bills feed his family so i mean it's a win-win for everybody i figured but uh if you like this video if you found it helpful please uh like it subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next videos and uh, i really appreciate you guys watching Thank you.